All right, so we stopped here now with the harbor and we just continue now with that one here. For the harbor, we'll need lots of space anyways. I will probably even need to remove more buildings here. So we do have Chef Michel now. So theoretically, I don't need these artisanal kitchens anymore. I'm just going to keep them for now, obviously. But what we can do now in the meantime is, well, we can get those canneries one by one unfortunately i haven't found a move tool yet for those guys here so i have to move them one by one over there for the district there so let me just do that here real quick right looking much better already here with some canneries on that side here and on that side here i want to have a new production now because we do have the brass and the glass let's have the spectacles so that is something for the engineers they want next spectacles here and the bicycles right there was something bicycles we should have the couchuk by now um here as well and we do have couchuk so we can now have those two production chains actually and we're going to have them in the harbor here as well um, because it just fits, you know, these are not dirty factories, so they don't pollute, they don't reduce the attractiveness. Um, they're just there, you know, and it's totally fine to have them close to my city there as well, because cities, well, in the 19th century did have factories, as a matter of fact, in their compounds. So let's just have that here as well. I think this is a nice touch for it. Not too many, of course, and not any dirty factories, just the ones that we might actually really need. And in that case here, there we have the spectacles. So we can have the spectacles over here now. And in that case here, let's have a lot of them. We will need a warehouse here and probably a warehouse over here. And then we can just have more spectacles here. There we have the spectacles. And what else do we need? Well, we do need the bicycles or the penny farthings. They require electricity, the same I think. No, actually not with that, but they require electricity. Bicycle factories. Now let's see, let's have a few here. Right, so we do need to upgrade the warehouses there. And this one here too. And let's build the power plant. There it is. So now we should be getting a train here soon. Probably starting down here in the harbor soon then. We do have enough oil. Let's also upgrade the oil harbor here. So we always have enough oil there. And we now should be getting a train then soon to that harbor area. Oh, there's one on the tracks right now. Busy, people. Coming into the oil refinery up there so that's fine hopefully electricity soon and then we have two further productions there especially the bicycles the are important for the well-being of my people now the bicycles the same with um for example my sewing machine do need steel and what i've seen is that steel is really low or actually out yeah we are out of steel in that case here so they pollute unfortunately the air but i do need more of them right now um, iron-wise, we should be fine. We are. Coal-wise, we're not completely fine. We do, however, have, yeah, a few more coal deposits. So there is one. We can move one of the... What is here? Okay, I do have a warehouse here that I'm not using. We can use this one here, though. I think I've... Oh, there is another one still. Let's put the mine here. For a bit of more coal. And what we still need is a few more furnaces, I guess. It's like a prison here. We've run out of Let's see, we might actually Take close one of the weapon factories to save some additional steel. But in that case here, that should be fine. So let's have two, three more furnaces. I have to think what's best for us. Can squeeze in one here. Oh, what is that? That is copper. Let's squeeze in one here. And one here. And yes, they are really dirty. Just look at that district here. But that district to move will be quite um, expensive. Not really difficult, but expensive. And I still need to find the place for that. Here we have the pigs. So I hope that's fine now. We need to check that, of course, all the time. Um, pigs is still fine. Now, green is going up there as well quite a lot. 
in that case here, how's the bread looking? Better, we do have more bread now in store. Very good, that's fine. And there's the drink coming. Into our new district here. Into our harbor district. Game there set. we have it. And now unloading it and then those bicycle factories will now have the electricity any moment now once this has been unloaded. And while that is happening, let's have our or the rest of our harbor here. First of all, this one here does need a connection. And then we have the commute pier. It does fit in here, I'd say. We do have the harbor master office that fits in here as well. I think that might actually be in the center here. Right, it's a beautiful building, gotta say that. Lots of details. Now with the harbor master office, the street comes in here, like so. Right, and then what else do we need? Well, we do need, nah, not the public mooring, that is for the main harbor area then, but we do need our steam shipyard. It's always good to have a shipyard in the harbor. Let's just see how far electricity goes all the way down here. That's pretty good. Let's get it up there. Connect it and it has electricity now. And now the only thing we need is some steel and then we can have the salvager again and continue with the quests because of course we haven't done them yet. And the other thing that I want to have here is some piers. Now I don't think that we will have so many, well, ships docking here because it's, ah, it might actually happen. Let's have the storage houses there, so they fit. And we can have the pier then kind of like dock to these um, storehouses. So we could have a pier here then outside and one here. No, that looks really strange. I need to get rid of that one here over there. And then we can have the pier like so. The festival has ended. Right, that's a bit better. And the same thing we can do on this side here, hopefully. Let's move the commute pier over there for now. Right, and then we can have it where the ships are docking and here we have then the street going up there. A little harbor district there so we can still squeeze in some factories. As we can see now, bicycle factories are working, even though not at full strength because there's some steel missing, but they are working. Balance is looking fine so far. Bicycles are in and glasses are in. That's fine too. And this one here. How far can I move this one now? Up to that point here. So lots or space for lots and lots of more storage depots here then because that's what it's all about. And look at that. We even got some ships now docking here. The grain, oh, actually quite a lot of them. The fur one is coming here too. Over here we have the next green one. So we get a few ships coming in on this harbor there. That's fine. So that's that and let's, yeah, actually Let's get rid of that fish farm here. We still need to move the commute pier in here, kind of. Can we kind of squeeze it in here? That would be amazing. There's a ship docking. Let's extend. We don't have to deal on paper. Now that oh, that was a mistake. I did not want to pay him that. Ah, uh, that's that's fine. We we have enough money there. But usually Sean, you know, is really bugged out, so we could just have gone with ceasefire then again. Right, so that's the beginning of a harbor. Um, I'm waiting now to unlock the harbor buildings, the harbor monument there as well. Um, that will be unlocked probably with the investors. And then we can fill in that harbor here and make it a bit more properly. Now we have the harbor district here with some factories. That's looking fine. Having electricity here now too. And let's just have a look how much oil we still have. Oh yeah, oil is going down. So in that case, we either have to push the oil wells up here with items or, well, we just get another oil well up somewhere, oil spring, oil supply. That's that. Righto, as I can see, soap, sausage, work clothes, 
Um, Brad is looking perfectly fine. Rum is totally down. We have four ships on that route from Kingston. In that regard, how's Kingston looking rum-wise? It's full. So the problem is we don't have enough ships on that route and we do need a bit more storage. Now in Kingston, we do have enough resources for the storage. So let's build a few more because every second that we cannot build or we cannot store rum is wasted. Right, Kingston really has a huge harbor area there. And let's have a few more ships on that route here. Can we purchase some? Wait, there was a strike? Oh. There was a strike in Sleepy Hollow. Your city has grown more beautiful. And come on, let me purchase some ships. There is a cargo ship. Very good. Not greet me, sell me. Thank you. That's what we want. And this is Deception. And Deception is another ship now on that trade route here. So we have at least five. But as you can see, we really do need lots of that rum. So let's have even another ship. I'm out of influence. Do we have a free ship somewhere? Nope, only ship of the lines now. So that should do it. Hopefully another cargo ship there quick as well. So what we need to do really is upgrade. Well, we can upgrade lots of artisans. Actually, we can upgrade everyone if we want to. In that regard, we don't have the <laughs> enough bricks there because we just built so many factories for that. Hmm. We do have a bit here that we can do in the beautiful area kind of. Hopefully we get a bit more influence then with more higher Your people, are right. people living here. Siffington we do have a little riot here so let's get the police station up there. Right oh and in the harbor district we still need to have a trade union for our cannery so those guys here. And in that regard, it's fitting that we do have some space left over here because I can just move those buildings now down here and we can squeeze it in and affect all of our canneries then. Beautiful. That's what we want. Right, so except for this one here, we probably will have to move this one. Oh, come on, you can do it. Very good, thank you. That's it, and then we can have the trade union here. But then again, the trade union costs... Oh no, it doesn't even cost us any influence. Very good, let's have it here. Affecting all my canneries now. And then we have Chef Michel. Now, with, if I activate this one here, they will all use pigs in the future. So you know that don't um, use anything else anymore. Um, what else do we have here? Animal farms. All production buildings, plus 50%, minus 10% workforce needed. Really good item here. Feras al Zarami, the Persuader. Bakery and grain farm, so we don't need them. But those two are really good. So let's have Chef Michel. Boom, active. Oh, there is one not active. And Feras al Zarami for now. And this should then save us a bit more workforce here for the artisans. Very good. So let's just... There's a street here that we don't necessarily need. So now this one's affected too. Very good. And there we have a warehouse and... Oh no, the harbor must actually is not a warehouse. So we should probably have another warehouse here then for those buildings there too. We still have the electricity and another beautiful train is coming in here. Love that. So that is looking fine now. And from now on, we consume lots of pigs. So what I don't need now anymore, I mean, let me just check that again before I do anything harsh here. So replaces the input instead of goulash, the building processes pigs now. And that is for all the canneries. So those artisanal kitchens here that actually produce me some goulash, we don't need them any longer. So in that case here, we can't just get rid of them. It's actually too good to be true, right? It's amazing how powerful this item really is. That saves us a lot of workers, but not only in Crown Falls, also for our pepper and our beef. Now in that regard, I do need to find my pepper and beef. Down here we have it, right? And we do have, do we have the... Oh no, we don't even have to commute pier. I thought we would be saving lots of farmers now. Unfortunately, we don't. 
And we don't need the pepper farms anymore. And we don't need the beef farms anymore. And thus, well, we still need the village here. Do little for I managed to get some farmhouses away. There for the fur coats. So we'll still do need that. But other than that, lots of, well, also money that has been saved and workforce that has been saved as well. In that regard, it's pretty good. But the big but is now we will need more pigs. That is paramount. So in that case here in Rellingen, we do have three ships, I think, now. Um, tending the pigs. Oh, and even that is not enough. Now, for, ma for now, we actually do have enough pigs there. But this will not last. In that case here. We do need to get some bricks over there, but I don't have any cargo ships. So let's upgrade more buildings. We do have some bricks here again. Let's upgrade those workers there. And those workers here. All right, for more artisans. Oh, and there we have the newspaper. This is looking fine. Let's have only one propaganda. So actually, we do have a bit of influence again. And we can use that influence to bum, 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 get two clippers. And I think, can we now please go for the salvager here? Steel. Oh god, I need more steel still. You lost an influence bonus. Let's have a look. We do have enough iron. We do have enough coal. Why is the steel not rising? That's over here with the furnaces. And I think we already boosted the production here of them. I don't want that too much because it decreases uh, decreases the happiness. In that case here, we still need to build more furnaces. Now, that pollutes the air even more. In that case, we need to find a solution for that as well. But for now, I don't have any because we have other things to tend to as well. So let's just have more furnaces here then, kind of like in Factorio. We just place buildings upon buildings here for maximum profit. Lucky there are no aliens when the pollution gets too high that attack us. But in that case, that's fine. Look at the clippers that are waiting here. Right, what we can do here... Let's move those piers outside there. They could be moving faster now. And what we can do here. This is looking funny. But it's actually got a reason behind it. And there we have some piers then here connecting as well. That's that. And totally right. We can now cancel the trade route there for the beef and pepper too. So that's this one here. We have one ship here. Let's find that ship. Snapdragon. It's down there right now. Very good. And then we have the beef over here. Where's the ship? Down there as well. Very good. Two trade rods less. And two more ships. Two more clippers that we have available now. Where's the other one? Oh, no war declaration. I'm surprised. Two clippers, let's get them up here again because we'll need them anyway. Pigs are still coming in. How's the rum looking? Rum is looking fine again. It's going up. Bread is looking fine. Beer is down now though. But with the rum, we have more happiness again. So I do have a really happy population right now. The thing is with the beer, it just consumes all the grain that we have. So I do need to do two things. More grain farms. And we do have some rights here. And since I do have the influence now, let's have another trade union here. And get this one here over there. And in here in the middle, we have another trade union. So I'm especially eager for the Bright Harvest DLC than what it does. Because right now, those farms are not producing enough, at least in my opinion. We have him already. Yes, expert planter, grain farms, productivity plus 50% for those guys here. So they produce now more and they have more fields available as well. So we can, well, build a few more fields then for all of them that are affected by it. The strike has ended. 
those guys here and I think this one here too. Right, of course more fields means then as well more grain. That one and this one here is still being affected by it. So here we can put some grain in here. This one here should still be affected by it. Very good. And those ones. Oh, this one here actually. Right, we can squeeze it in here. Oh, right, that's that. But it's, it doesn't matter. It's still 150% now of effectiveness here. Very good. That's a lot more grain. And in that case here, since we do have lots of bricks here in Siffington, by the way, so that's something I should remember too. Let's have some paved roads here now as well. Because, of course, they speed up the delivery process then to and fro for my warehouses. So that's that. And let's use one of these clippers that I have and have him as a brick trade route from Siffington to Crown Falls with just the bricks because we do have quite a vibrant, I should say, brick production in Siffington that we don't really need, the well, the surplus of it. And Snapdragon is doing that. It's a pretty cool name for a clipper. So here now in Siffington, as we can see, we get three clay deposits that are being used fully. And in that regard, we can use that. Very good. We have some oil up here as well. Good to know. The other thing, we still have some hop farms here that we can upgrade for the beer. Right here. Having more hops is always a good idea. And over here now, instead of all these pig farms, we have lots of space now for even more grain farms. Actually, I don't care about the timber that I lose with that. This one here I can keep. Let's get this one up here. And yeah, we in fact have way more space now here for those farms there. So we could just, yeah, fits in there really nicely. In that case, we have one here. And oh, oh some legs here and there. Know that any assistance may influence Her Majesty's now, now. Sorry, Archie, not now. We do need more grain. I do have the workforce for that. That's fine. I think here I will lose a bit. Every day a That's fine. Very good. Oh, yes. And let me just have a look here. Let's move those guys there. And let's move those guys here. Because naturally we do need some warehouses here as well. Right on paved road we already have fine so far so lots and lots of new grain farms that's pretty good i think we will need another clipper on that for now though and we do have that luckily so there we have the Sivington crown falls grain trade route and campron campion so four clippers on that route now for the grain for the bakeries there now that's one thing and i think the other thing was that we have oh we have still another expert planter here very good. Let's get him too, because we can use him for the other grain farms that we already have. That is pretty good. This one here. And the bakery will keep. So let's get this one here back. That case. And of course, we still want to fill this one here to the brim. Let's have... Uh, with the fields, that's going to be... Oh, that's squeezing in there. Very good. There we have one. There we have one. We can squeeze in one more here. But we definitely will need more warehouses. A competitor's island is under siege. Okay. 
and I would actually like to use this space here for a fire station. Oh, there's another oh, airship here. Lots of airships there around. Here we do have a bit of space there because in Sivington, um, we do need the workforce for the farmers so we can use this space here for more farmhouses then. They're really happy here. We do have the pub there. Probably having another pub over here. That should be fine. There is a bit more space. So we do still have lots of space here as we can see for more grain farms. But right now that's definitely going to be enough. And that should be fine. That should be fine. Yeah, they are totally full though. These warehouses there. So we do have some space here that we can use. That's fine. Let's upgrade this one. That should be fine now. I'm more worried now about the storage there, but that's looking fine too. We got enough ships on that route now. That's fine. So that's lots of green coming in and lots of more hops. So hopefully that does something for the beer production. Right now we're still pretty low on that. Let's have a look here. Green is there. Hops is there. What is the malt? Ship constructed. Oh, we have a lot, lots of malt there, so... It's really just a, great, a matter of hops then that we need and more breweries then most likely. So up here we have that, right? There it is, yeah. And here we have our bakeries. So one thing that I want to do here as well. That should actually work very good. And I'm going to move this one over here. Let's see if we can actually squeeze in a trade union here. Yes, for the bakeries. Right, and here we have then our fine cake decorator affects the bakery's productivity 30% and extra good occasionally produces extra chocolate. And I just hope that it is enough chocolate for us. So we can actually, you know, supply all our people there, but I doubt it. But still, a nice building, nice item there. Let's have some paved roads here too. And just now I want to eat some chocolate actually. Very good so far so that we have the bakeries now and then of course we can increase that. Now we only need to think about something about these factories here. We have to move them away from that location probably and have more cities here then. Um, with the steam motors, we do have lots of steam motors available now too. Um, in that case here, we still need more steel and we'll probably build up another steel somewhere else. But for now that should be fine.